How to Handle Airbnb Guest Booking In your Airbnb and VRBO listings, you can opt for either instant booking or request booking as your reservation policy. Regardless of your choice, there are several situations you'll need to handle effectively to prevent inefficiencies that could slow or paralyze your hosting service. We have developed standardized replies for each stage of inquiry and booking. We also routinely utilize AI chatbots for assistance when beneficial. The booking stages can be broadly categorized as follows. Note that not all stages will be contained in each booking. A. Inquiry and pre-approval. B. Awaiting ID. C. Request booking. D. Awaiting payment. E. Booked and then cancelled. F. Other questions and answers. We update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular updates. For a limited time period, channel subscribers can email us at strtextmaster at gmail.com to request private videos, playlists at no cost, as well as having free website membership at www.strtext.com. Let us start with A. Inquiry and Pre-Approval. If you enable Instant Book on Airbnb, guests can book without needing pre-approval, saving time for both guests and hosts. Airbnb strongly encourages this by rewarding higher search rankings. However, there are still situations where you might not want to allow for instant booking. Without instant book, guests must send a booking request. The host can accept or decline a request according to the best option at that time. Note that guests might send multiple requests but they need to understand that they are liable for all accepted ones, particularly if the hosts have strict cancellation policies. Even if you do not allow for instant book, pre-approving an inquiry lets the guest book the listing without further approval from the host. If you issue pre-approval, the pre-approval will expire within 24 hours. The inquiry stage can vary in duration, and it is essential for hosts to address questions quickly and efficiently, assessing whether to pursue or disengage a particular inquiry. AI chatbots can be of great help in answering questions at this stage. About special offer. A special offer on Airbnb expires 24 hours after being sent. Bargaining is not typical on Airbnb or VRBO, but it happens. If you decide to offer a discount, avoid doing it through special offer or by reducing your listing rates on the platform. The host can then adjust the total payment from there. The problem with the latter option is obvious. We have not used special offer for some time and do not see a compelling situation for it. B. Awaiting ID. Awaiting ID status expires after 12 hours. Awaiting ID means that the guest needs to verify their identity before the booking can be accepted by Airbnb's computer system. This Airbnb security measure is mandatory. The guest has 12 hours to complete ID verification, during which your listing is blocked from other bookings. This is unfair to the host. ID verification, once optional, is now required by Airbnb, and hosts should direct guests to complete it through Airbnb. Sometimes the guest does not understand this Airbnb requirement, and try to work out ID verification approval with the host. C. Request booking. Request booking status expires after 24 hours. When you receive a request booking, evaluate the information at hand and respond quickly. If you decline the request, the dates will be blocked in the booking calendar, so make sure that you unblock such dates while you still remember. However, if you haven't responded within 24 hours, the request will then expire and the dates will be blocked. Neither the host nor Airbnb can unblock such dates once they are blocked. This is very bad for the host. If you plan to decline, provide an acceptable reason so you can ask the guest to withdraw their request. This is to avoid negative impact on the search ranking of the listing. The search ranking for a listing will be lowered if you have too many declines on that listing. D. Awaiting payment. Awaiting payment status expires in 24 hours. This stage can occur for new bookings or extensions. The listing will be blocked for 24-hour period and the host cannot ask Airbnb to cancel such incomplete reservations. It is important to note that the guest can easily withdraw the booking on the Airbnb website or app when this occurs for a new booking. To cover its liability, 
Airbnb will email you that they are trying to collect the payment, but they are not liable if the payment does not go through. Airbnb is a winner, again. When awaiting payment occurs, it is important to communicate with the guest so they can either resolve the payment issue with Airbnb or withdraw the booking, assuming the latter works better for you. In the new booking situation, only the guest can withdraw and cancel the incomplete booking. Neither the host nor Airbnb can do that so you hope that the guest is willing to work with you in such a situation. For extensions, the host must wait 24 hours for the status to clear. The host needs to evaluate the situation and communicate with the guest to resolve the payment matter or deny extension. For an extension for an existing guest, neither the guest nor Airbnb can cancel the related extension that caused awaiting payment. Again, the host must wait 24 hours for the status to clear. E. Booked and then cancelled. In some situations, a guest may book a listing and then cancel it later. If the cancellation occurs within 48 hours of booking and at least 7 days before the check-in date, the guest will receive a full refund, and the host will earn no revenue, zero dollars. This is unfair to the host as the listing loses several hours, up to 48 hours, of potential booking time. From our experience, Airbnb tends to rank such listings higher in search results, and listings with cancellations are often rebooked quickly. So this can be advantageous for the host, especially if they have a strict cancellation policy and the guest cancels after the full refund period. In some cases, a guest books a listing, then changes their mind and tries to negotiate a full or partial refund with the host. We usually advise the guest that such matters are best handled by Airbnb and that they should contact Airbnb first. Airbnb typically informs the guest that the refund depends on the host's discretion and that they cannot compel the host to provide a refund. After discussing the strict cancellation policy with Airbnb, you hope the guest should then understand that any refund is provided at the host's courtesy. The host is not in the wrong for not providing a full or partial refund. Otherwise, they will leave a one-star review and accuse the host as a thief and a liar. By the way, if such a review occurs, contact Airbnb as soon as possible and have the review removed. Such a review is against Airbnb policy and can be removed easily. If not removed, this one-star review will stay on your hosting service forever and can be very damaging. F. Other questions and answers. In each of the aforementioned stages, the guest may ask additional questions, which you need to address them satisfactorily and efficiently. Do not create more new questions while you answering the existing one. Your goal is to finalize the booking in the least amount of time possible. Over time, it is very important and beneficial to develop a collection of quick replies to avoid retyping the answers. In many situations, you will find AI chatbots extremely helpful to provide well-written answer to address guests' question, saving you considerable time in writing and typing. Hope you find this video informative and useful. Please subscribe to this channel for any time access to this and other videos. As a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by emailing us at strtextmaster at gmail.com. That's all for today. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.